a rough loss against uh, against Oregon. Really tough go there, guys. Not a ton of good you can say for Utah. It was it was a tough loss. It felt like we got beaten almost every single phase of the game. I'm going to say a couple things before we get the show started. We'll have some guests on. We'll be talking a lot of topics today, but I do want to just address uh, my thoughts on the Oregon game. I thought we didn't play as terribly as Oregon played well. I think you're going to hear a lot of people over the next week or two saying Utah played a bad game and Oregon smashed them. I thought we didn't play our best game. There were definitely some flaws. But I really think at the end of the day, what that game showed was not our us having a bad day. I, I felt like at the end of that game, I felt like we were just watching Oregon's coming out party, dude. I've been saying since the season started that I really thought that Oregon was a top five team. I thought even after Washington beat them in Seattle, that Oregon was still the best team in the Pac-12 and still a top five team. I thought Oregon was better than Washington. Washington just has a great home field advantage. And I think Oregon is going to be a tough team to beat for any team. I would say for me, I I don't know how Oregon would not get to the conference championship and win the conference championship. I'm not going to romanticize over them too much, but I they are a hell of a team. If you guys go back and watch that game, it's a lot more about what Oregon did well more than about what we did wrong. Oregon, you know, one of the huge things about this team is that we have a relentless defense, a great D-line. Oregon's ability to spread the ball and and make us work horizontally took our D-line out of the game for the most part. They made it so that Bo Nix got the ball out of his hands super quickly, took our D-line out. We'll talk more about that later, but a tough go for Utah. Really tough go, but I would say, guys, don't don't be defeated or be overly critical of how Utah performed. For me, I'm telling you guys, this is a heck of a Oregon team we just played. I'm not saying we wouldn't have had a chance to beat with the beat them with Cam Rising and Brant Keithy, but I would say that um, I don't know how confident I would have been that we beat this team with Cam Rising and Brant Keithy. It's that's a heck of a team, guys. Like if 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 at the end of this year Oregon is the national championship champion, I would not be shocked. Heck of an Oregon team. I won't spend too much more time building up Oregon. I know this isn't an Oregon podcast, but um, it was a good team, guys. Do not be embarrassed that we lost to them. They're gonna they're gonna get a lot of big wins. I don't think it was our best day, right? It was not our best day, but uh, it was a heck of a team. On that note, I'm gonna bring on uh, Brian Ankrum, aka San Antonio Ute. Brian, good evening. How are you doing tonight, man? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I mean, given the circumstances, um, yeah, it was a you you made some really good points there. I mean, it, this is a really good Oregon team. We didn't play our best. Um, they just uh, they outnumbered us. Um, I think we were kind of playing on borrowed time uh, with the injuries, and I'm not saying. The injuries are, are an excuse because, like you said, if we had our full roster, this is going to be a very tough Oregon team to beat. Um, but you know, given the 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 big, you know, thirty what was it, thirty eight to six separation, um, a lot of that had to do with with the injuries. I, they don't beat us thirty eight to six um, with our full lineup, but this this Oregon team is going to be. Uh, someone to be reckoned with the rest of the year. Um, Very impressive performance by Oregon. 